Superannuation funds won't be sending their end of financial year statements until September. But it's looking increasingly likely investors will see double-digit returns. It's good news for an industry that has been slammed with bad publicity in recent weeks, culminating with CBA's dodgy financial planners probe. More than $150 billion was contributed into Australian superannuation funds last financial year and that money has been put to work. Super Research Group Rainmaker says the average long-term super fund has returned almost 8% per year over the last 30 years. After a couple of negative results during the global financial crisis, returns have mostly performed above average. That's likely to continue, with Rainmaker expecting statements to show a 12% return for the average super fund in 2013-14. It's been a really strong collection of years and funds have recovered remarkably on the back of the share market rally. Research House Ibisworld says the superannuation funds management industry will be one of the fastest growing sectors of the economy this financial year, with revenues expected to grow by 10.5% to $14 billion. That growth is likely to attract greater competition, especially in the online space, putting downward pressure on fees. And so we're seeing even the banks come out with some really innovative products uh, where you can get into them through the internet. Uh, they, you don't have to go through a financial planner. Some investors are bypassing financial advice, setting up their own self-managed super funds. We tend to have about an extra forty to 50,000 join the market every year. So there's now uh, over... 500,000 self-managed super funds. But many still need quality financial advice. So first of all, you want to look for a certified financial planner rather than the qualified financial planner. Uh, they've generally had more training to get their qualification. Um, you can ask the financial planner about their own investments and see where they're investing. Uh, if they're not eating their own cooking, then you have to ask why you're going into certain products. Uh, ask them who their financial license is with and whether they recommend products uh, that have been formulated and issued by those companies. Most importantly, consumers need to understand the incentives of the advisors they are going to see. Potentially up to 85% of financial planners in Australia either work for or are aligned with the big four banks uh, and AMP. But they too have their place, often offering a wider variety of products and discounts to existing customers. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.